Well, let's say no. No, I haven't. A liar. It's the truth. You were soldiers, led a platoon. Uh, if I've got my facts straight from yesterday, I know all about the wars you would have fought, and you mean to say you never killed anyone in combat? Oh, well, as a soldier, yes. I just meant... It's not killing when you're wearing a uniform? If it's justified? What? No, I don't mean that at all. What do you mean, then? I misunderstood the question. An apologies. No, I'm sorry. Now I'm being obtuse. I've never been a combatant, just a survivor. I don't know what it feels like when killing is your business. You made it sound so awful. Is it not? Fair point. I should have said yes, because I knew that he... <sighs> I'm gonna get real bad ending, aren't I? <laughs> oh well. We'll look it up, like they say online, huh? What happened after the basement? Could hope you don't find this bushy, but yesterday you were telling me how you escaped. You want to know more, right? Yeah, it makes a change from nature documentaries, I guess. I'm not your entertainment. No, no, I know. I'm genuinely interested. It's just, well, it was just a quip. You'll understand once you get a TV. It's all they show. Richard, I'm joking. It's okay. I'd like to talk about it a bit, I think. Uh, from now on, I'm gonna tell the truth, the truth, and nothing but the truth. I thought we were going to be lost in the snow forever, then... Finally, some signs of life. Ooh... Mommy? Yes, sweetheart? My fingers are tingly. It's very cold, isn't it? Remember your old toy piano? Mm-hmm. Wiggle your hands like you're playing it. That'll be fun, won't it? You're silly, mommy. That piano got broke. Maybe you could hum me a tune while you play. That'd be nice. My chest hurts when I hum. Oh, Barney. We'll find somewhere warm soon, I promise. Look, there's something just up ahead. Is that roadkill? That looks like roadkill. Ew, that's disgusting. Poor thing. I wonder what happened to it. Can't we play with it? Barney, no. Of course we can't. It's a dead animal. But it might be lonely. Barney, you're sweet, but no. No playing with animal corpses. Come on. Now let me try to get this as much out of it as possible. Barney, look. This looks nice, doesn't it? Mommy, I don't like it. Can we go back now? No, Barney. No. We can't go back. Please, Mommy. Barney, for God's sake. I'm sorry, honey. Look, you need to be a big, brave young boy now. You can do that for me, right? Sorry, Mommy. It's okay, baby. Look, let's see if we can get inside. Oh my. Hello? No answer. And it's padlocked. Hmm. There must be a way to get this open. Barney, let's go on a treasure hunt. Mommy, I'm tired. Barney, j just a few more steps. Nope. Alright, you can wait here then. But promise me you won't go off anywhere. And try to keep out of sight. I promise, Mommy. I'll hide like a little mouse. Alright, good. Wait. How out of sight are you? Nah. He'll be fine. Alright, statue. I've got business with you. Let's see. Just a statue, there's nothing else here. Benches, don't want to sit. Nothing but snow. Dead trees. Or just cold or whatever. It's not the end of the world! Beating the weather together! <sighs> yep. 
I figured. Alright. Woodland. The area is surrounded by thick woodland. Okay. Do we have any... Uh, let's see. Up there. I shouldn't go too far from Barney right now. Okay, I understand. Um, but there's nothing around that I could... I know better than to run into the woods even during the day. Of course. So, coming out here was a complete waste of my time. Thank you. I totally needed to waste the little time that I have on wandering around these snowy woods. Uh, what's this? Let's check it out. Door. You can barely tell. But yes, I see. Ooh. Land mower. Looks like it's been, it's seen better days. I guess there's not been much use for it since the snow. Of course. Ooh, shears. Too big for the padlock. Might find another use for them though. Vice. Still works. Can you take it? Do you want it? The vice hasn't even rusted shut. Okay. I got some shears. Hello, atmospheric sound effects. I missed you. Okay, never mind. Now you're kind of in my ear a little too much. Okay, we got some shears. Walking through the winter apocalyptic land. I can't seem to walk that way. There's an impenetrable barrier of a game limit. And there's, there's a dead animal. And I guess it's a sheep. Um, we have some some woods over there. Uh, seems to be a gate. And the padlock won't. Okay, so the shears. Yeah, the shears are definitely way too damn big. Um, but can I? Okay, the windows are all boarded up. Makes sense. You don't even need to look outside. It's like. What is there to say, you know? All these people want to just survive because of the human emotion, the human, human. Uh, that I clicked that side, my bad. The the human um, evolutionary uh, trait of wanting to just live, no matter what. I believe that is going to screw us over, and I kind of already did, but hey, who am I to judge? Just sitting here at Mama's house, no job, no nothing. Yeah, I feel sorry for myself every once in a while. Actually, I feel sorry for myself on a daily basis. What am I doing? Where am I supposed to go? What is going on? I'm gonna reveal to my viewers the dark secrets behind the Panda Man. It's not something I should be doing right now. Why would I do that? Exactly. Ugh, really? Nope, it's just a dead animal. Nothing else here. Ugh. Hey! You never know. I don't know what to do. So... Huh. I have to go up here. Can I talk to Barney? How are you doing? No, I'm calling tired. We'll get home soon. Alright. I can't use that on this, right? That won't work. Great. Statue of an angel. They always look ominous somehow. I remember being a young girl, maybe six or seven. My parents used to take me to the local park. There was an angel statue there too. I was terrified of it. Used to think it would bring about doom or something. Maybe it did. Yeah, maybe it did. Makes sense in a way. Not going to be able to pull those off. Of course, they're like nails shut. Uh, gee, you're giving me a lot to work with here, game. It's like Sam and the freaking thingy thing. 
Billboard, poster stored, I'll leave the rest intact, okay. I mean, could always vandalize it, because you're like, your ironic statement pisses me off. And you can go on murderous rampage or something. Okay, that's not, that's not it. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. Community guides. Let me get a ending, basic walkthrough. Spoilers, take two. Small case, like box. Keepsake box. Yeah, this is day two. Go all the way down the map. When the scene begins, you can find the following tracks. Go to the left, small. Use the door to enter, pick up shears. Use right to shears on cabinet. Huh! It seems that I was not done with you, little shack. I'm about to bring in the pan the justice of trying everything with everything. Cabinet! It's locked. There might be something useful in here. It needs to do something. Bring it up. Burn. 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 Use this. What? Cabinet. Just switch these in here. And. Damn, the shears are broken. Still, I managed to. Price open with the cabinet. Cabinet! Ugh. Oh. Had, a, had a thing there. Hmm, let's see. No tools whatsoever, but there's a key and a gun. And I hate these things. Looks like there's one bullet left. This isn't really something I like. I choose to hang on to, but the needs must. Alright. We got a key for something, and there's only one lock, which means that technically it belongs to that lock, which, you know, it's kind of... I guess you don't expect someone to, like, randomly get some shears, break open the cup. Oh, hey, sweetheart, what have you got there? Mommy, I'm feeling happy now. That's... Get to here, darling. What are you playing with? A toy car! You used to drive a car, didn't you, Mommy? I sure did, Barney. Okay. Ugh. Sheesh. I sure did, Barney. A lot of grown-ups used to drive cars. Heh. <laughs> now everyone drives trucks. Not everyone, sweetheart. We don't have a truck, do we? Where'd you get the car? I find it in the snow. I think someone left it here just for me. Vroom, vroom. I'm sure they did, honey. Barney, did you know a long time before you were born, Mommy and Daddy went on an adventure in a car. We drove and drove and stopped at lots of places and saw a lot of amazing things. So from what I gather, it's been around five and a half years since... Okay, so f about for a good five years ago. You understand what this? Let me start that over. Over five years ago, you're telling me that we had good times and this calamity didn't happen. Huh. Five years since the calamity, eh? Huh. Not bad. Did Daddy drive the car as well? He did. Daddy drove sometimes, and Mommy drove sometimes. When Daddy got tired, we did a lot of driving. Someday I want to take you on an adventure, Barney. Mommy? Yes, sweetheart? You're taking me on an adventure now, aren't you, Mommy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I am, Barney. This is an adventure, isn't it? It sure is. We're big, strong adventurers like you and Daddy were. Mommy, you can have the car. It'll remember you about your adventure with Daddy. Sweet. Remind you. Huh? Oh, nothing. It doesn't matter. Thank you, baby. That's very sweet of you. Thank you. I'm not a baby. I'm five and a half years old, woman. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm terrible. Note. Already carrying it. 
Caleb, right? This is for you. They've all gone and there's nothing left. They moved, uh, they moved on and so should you. The others will never understand, Jake. Wow. That's, that's good to know. Let's get the padlock. Hope this is the right key. It's the wrong one. Oh! Oh! It's the wrong key. Oh! Okay! I'm sorry! <laughs> uh, let's see if there's anything else in the shed. Friggin' make me go through all this. Come on. Alright, uh, workbench, vice, this is a device, work, what's the vice, what's it does, I don't know what a vice is, I'm about to look it up or something, can I key the landmower, you don't want my key, fine, I don't need you to key me anyway, Jesus, now what do I do? And okay, again, whenever you guys get a mug, go by one of the major smoking and padlock. Use gun and padlock. What? Okay, so. In the sense of me being uh, a bit of a survivalist, I would have thought that the gun would be saved for an act of extreme emergency, but it seems that. Padlock, that's the problem. Of course, I want you to shoot the padlock. God damn it. Barney, can you come here for a minute? What's wrong, mommy? Nothing's wrong, sweetheart. Do you know what this is? Um, it's a gun like the Batman carry. That's right. And you know how guns are very, very dangerous, yes? Uh-huh, they can make people go dead. They're loud and scary. And you should never play with them. But mommy has to use this now, Barney. So I want you to go over there, look away, and cover your ears. Are you going to shoot someone, mommy? No, sweetie. I'm going to shoot the padlock off so we can get inside. Does that sound good? You can have a little sleep then. Okay, mommy, be careful. But I should, should I remind you that I never sleep? Because <laughs> I'm never tired. Oh, man. I love contradicting children. It's not because I'm an asshole. Oh, damn, that's some excellent marksmanship. That's done it. Gun's empty now. Might as well keep hold of it anyway. Barney? God damn it, man. Barney? Sheesh. That was loud, mommy. I covered my ears, but it still hurt. I hope nobody... No, it's fine. Right. Are you ready to carry on with your our adventures, sweetheart? Yes! Okay then, in we go. Stay behind me and keep very, very quiet. Oh boy. Yeah. God, oh God, that's disgusting. Mommy, this place is smelly. Keep your voice down, honey. Hello? Anybody home? Hello? You just said to keep your voice down. And you yell. I don't understand. Judging from the smell, I think we're alone. The lights on, though. Hmm. Mommy, it's really stinky. I know, sweetheart. How about we take a look around and see if we can find a way to clean up this mess? We need to get the door locked again, too. How does the treasure hunt sound? I'm sleepy. I know, honey. Not long now, but look. There's nowhere to sleep, is there? I feel all sicky. Now I'm not surprised with the smell in here. Let me take a look around. Oh, boy. <laughs> 